Hey everyone, Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com, the YouTube channel ChemSurvival, and today I thought we'd have a little fun and demonstrate for you a classic chemistry practical joke. It's often written about, but rarely demonstrated or actually done. It's called the disappearing spoon. So I've got myself a nice mug here for my tea and a fairly ordinary looking metallic spoon, but it's actually no ordinary metal. It's made of a very special metal that we'll talk about in a few moments here. But the way the joke works is essentially this. You invite your lab mate, your buddy over for a little bit of tea in the office, and you place that spoon in there with a nice piping hot kettle of water here. And then we add the water to make our tea. And the spoon magically disappears. So what happened here? Well, let's talk about that. The key to having a metallic spoon disappear when warm water is added is to use a special metal called gallium. Gallium is a post-transition metal from the fourth row of the periodic table. And like most metals, it's hard, shiny, malleable, and electrically conductive. But gallium has one very interesting property. It has one of the lowest melting points of any metal on the table. Only francium, cesium, and mercury melt at lower temperatures, none of which are safe to handle. Gallium melts at about 30 degrees centigrade, which is above room temperature, but lower than body temperature and way lower than that of boiling water. So gallium will actually melt in your hands if you hold it long enough. I made my gallium spoon from about 100 grams of gallium metal that I melted in a warm water bath, then poured into a mold before cooling it, fashioning it into the shape of a spoon. After letting the gallium thoroughly cool to room temperature, I simply removed it from the mold and I had my disappearing spoon. I knew that the boiling water would successfully melt the gallium because I did my homework and I calculated that bringing 100 grams of gallium up from room temperature to its melting point, then melting that sample of metal would require about 8,000 joules of energy but about 100 grams of boiling water releases way more energy than that as it cools to a similar temperature. So I knew before I even started that a mug of hot water would carry enough heat to completely melt my gallium spoon, causing it to become a puddle in the bottom of the cup. Now it's worth mentioning here that gallium isn't terribly toxic, so it's safe to handle if you know what you're doing. And as safe as gallium is to touch, you really don't want to ingest it. So this is a trick best left to those who understand the risks. And under no circumstances would you want anyone to actually drink the contents of this mug. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Professor Davis from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. See you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel at youtube.com slash chemsurvival for even more videos.